Uh, we had the older mums meeting in St David's um, and they, um, we had about 12 each week. We started meeting down here when COVID came and it was like, oh, this actually kind of works down here um, with all the restrictions. So we were able to sit outside, which was great. We've had a group of about 10 mums and um, we used to meet at the church, but then um, for various reasons with homeschooling that happened, um, we were trying Zoom meetings and we tried a whole range of things, but it was just very difficult to get together with as many children. Um, and so we've been very grateful to join together with these ladies. And also we've been very grateful for Colin, who's been helping care for the kids and giving them really fun time while we get some time in the Bible. Thank you. What's been just so wonderful is um, the chance for us to um, share and hear some of the wisdom of some of the ladies who've gone before and their kids have all grown up and they survived. Um, but just to have some time in the Bible with women who have um, maturity of faith and can encourage us. And it's been a joy for me to see how much Colin loves coming and looking after the children. <laughs> yeah. And it's also just been so encouraging to see the young mums as uh, hold on to their faith through such hard times for them mm. um, and I think yeah it, it's a joy for both of us both sides of the yeah. <laughs> it's something that... we, we might not have done except that now this has begun yes. I think, why didn't we do this all along it's just been a blessing yes and mm. it's always been in my heart that one day we would do it and God answered that yeah so. the opportunity <laughs> about yeah, yeah. Mm. thank you God, God. <laughs> yeah and there are some amongst us who haven't been able to regather in church on a Sunday, yeah. but this has provided a beautiful time to be with the community and to read mm. God's word, even if they can't come to church. Yeah, it's lovely. very, very precious. Well, let me just.